GLM's a company that uh, I set up um, 21 years ago with my business partner David Gibbon, a business that crosses a number of professional disciplines uh, from uh, architecture and building surveying, construction management, project management, finance uh, and uh, interior design. Pre uh, uh, Action Coach it was a lot more stressful and I did waste an awful lot of time and energy on things that were uh, uh, on, on things like worry and anxiety which I I think I've got under control now. In 2009, when, 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 when we engaged with, with Action Coach, uh, we'd just come through the, the uh, global financial uh, crash. Um, and we were at a bit of a watershed, a, a crossroads. It, we very much had to, to think, where, where do we go from here? Uh, how, how do we go from here? What do we do? We had to contract. There were some serious challenges to think about within the business, about where they wanted to take the business, but also how they saw themselves getting there and setting the business up for growth during the recessionary period, but also particularly as they came out of recession. So we started to recognise the things that were difficult because of external factors, but to focus attention on what we could bring influence to bear on. In other words, we can actually look at some things that are externally, but what is it that we can actually bring focus to that are within our control. Tony's suggestion to have an alignment day was fantastic. We brought everybody together. A lot of people were sceptical, what's this action coach all about? But we put everybody in a room and we talked it through. Stabilisation of the team, a team that became uh, very much focused. We published, again at Tony's uh, uh, recommendation, a, a dashboard. So we shared everything, all of our results. This is the cash position. This is how much, we, uh, these are the sales that have come in in the month. This, this is our productivity. We were open with all of that information and that has been one of the best lessons that we've learned. Be open with your staff, bring the team in, share the burden and we've seen the results. So early on we were thinking about vision, purpose, mission, the culture of the organisation and how we draw the team together. What were the core values of the business? What were the core values that would actually both enrol and inspire people to become involved with this business as we grew it over the subsequent few years? So that was an early stage focus. Then we started to think about the financial controls that would actually keep the business secure as it managed growth. We started to think about the delivery of service to clients and how we would move from a referral-based marketing system to both referral-based but also other strategies that would address the target markets that the leadership wanted to focus on over the next few years. So then moving into team, actually thinking about the systems of recruiting, inducting and retaining and growing a great team that would help move the business forward and achieve the results that the leadership were looking for. Uh, turnover uh, last year was 1.1 uh, well, million. Uh, where we, we will uh, exceed that. We, we should, uh, uh, we're on target to do 1.5 this year. Uh, our, uh, our profit was uh, 95,000, uh, which as I say is three times more than uh, when we started. And we, ha we have a staff count of 18. So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty pleased with our, our, our financial pro performance. And of course that culminated with, uh, with us winning the BEF uh, award for best service uh, company in uh, Europe uh, to hear your, your name being uh, called by Brad from, from the stage uh, on a night, uh, on the awards night, was surreal and uh, making that walk up uh, and, on, and onto the stage with, with Tony and, and Brad and, and hearing the things being said about our, our business um, was, was, was quite, quite, quite fantastic. It's been a fantastic relationship. So early on we had our team alignment, we've been doing that on an annual basis for the last seven years. Um, in recent times it's been here in these fantastic premises. These premises allow the team to be inspired and to think about their year ahead. We've also been able to work with the team on a personal basis. So I've enjoyed some really great personal relationships with the team. A lot of, a lot of the team members have been along to 90 Day Planning. It's been a great relationship. Try and suppress the, the scepticism, set it to one side uh, and just listen and explore it and try it. Um, Go to, go to a growth club. Um, a growth club is, is a fantastic um, community, a, a fantastic event, great place to go and just, for your first time, listen um, or you know, get up and participate.